guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a giant square with two semicircles, each with a diameter of four. And there's a circle inside of the square and we need to find the area of the circle. And I'm pretty sure we're supposed to assume these three points are tangent points. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. We're given a square, which means all the sides are the same length. If the bottom is equal to eight, this height is also gonna be equal to eight. And then from here, let's mark the centers of the two semicircles. And let's connect the center to this tangent point. Since the diameter is equal to four, the radius will be equal to two. And the exact same thing for this radius, it will also equal two. And then let's take this radius and extend it all the way up here. And let's do the same thing for this radius, but we can stop right here. These two are gonna intersect in the center of our circle. Let's mark that. So that means this is a radius, this is a radius, and this portion of this is a radius. Let's call the radius of the big circle, big R. And let's clean this up. And now let's write a formula for what we're trying to solve. Since we know the radius of the blue circle is big R, we can say the area is equal to pi big R squared. This is what we're trying to solve. Let's put a box around it. So now we gotta try to figure out the length of big R. From this tangent point, let's draw all the way to the center of the circle and let's extend it. This will be at right angles here because it's a radius and a tangent line. And a tangent line and a radius always meet at right angles. And then all the way down here, this will also be at right angles because the top and the bottom are parallel. And then let's label this radius big R. I see a nice looking right triangle right here. Let's focus on this right triangle. Since this is equal to eight, all of this will also be equal to eight. And then we know this piece is equal to r. So this remaining portion will be equal to eight minus r. And now we have the height of this right triangle. And then the base of the right triangle is a radius of this semicircle. It's gonna be equal to two. And now we can do the Pythagorean theorem. It'll be the quantity eight minus big R squared plus two squared equals the quantity big R plus two squared. After we multiply this first one out, we end up with 64 minus 16 big R plus big R squared. And then we're gonna to add to that two squared, which is four. And then on the right-hand side, this multiplies out to big R squared plus four big R plus four. Both sides of this equation contain a big R squared and a four. So let's subtract big R squared and four from both sides. On the left-hand side, all of this is gonna cancel out. And then on the right-hand side, these are gonna cancel and these are gonna cancel. So we end up with 64 minus 16 big R equals four big R. From here, let's add 16 big R to both sides. On the left-hand side, these will cancel each other out and four big R plus 16 big R is 20 big R. So we have 64 is equal to 20 big R. From here, let's divide both sides by 20. And that'll leave us with big R is equal to 3.2. And now that we know big R, we can solve for the area. In the place of this big R, let's plug in 3.2. And pi 3.2 squared is equal to 10.24 pi. Let's give it a label of square centimeters and let's put a box around it. So now we found the area of this blue circle. How exciting. And here's a preview for the next episode. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. This person has a comically large front door. I'm pretty sure this is not AI or a green screen. She opens the door, it's clearly real. So let's find out how big is this door. How exciting.